Thursday, just $9.99 for a limited time. Applebee's, now that's eating good in the neighborhood. It's been nearly a month since anyone's seen Dorothy Murphy. At the Mundy Township Police Department, Detective DM calls a meeting to review the case. She believes she's missing something, and her former suspect, Kimberly Morgan, is behind it all. We were looking at each other, and we kept saying, there's no way she could have made that, and we're doing, like, scratch computations of miles per hour. Then suddenly, a clerk interrupts the hive of activity with information no one had considered before. Indiana changes clocks forward in the summertime like everybody else. We're going, call Indiana State Police and find out what time it is right now. If daylight savings time is not observed in that part of Indiana, it gives Morgan an extra hour in the Flint area. Then we put her right back at the top of the suspect list. This might sound like a strange question, but what time is it there? It's an hour earlier there. So she didn't have the time. We're high-fiving each other. We're like, oh my God, she could have done it. She could have done it. That's four hours. So Morgan had the time to shoot Aaron Williams and make Dorothy Murphy disappear. Now detectives just have to prove it. When Diem confronts Kimberly Morgan about the traffic stop, she suddenly changes her original story. Now she says she didn't leave Michigan until the second. Once she told me she was in Flint on the second, I told her I thought she had killed the old. Oh yeah, something's going on with it. I mean, I'm no fucking specialist or nothing, but something's going on with him. Oh, there he goes, look. Laying on his side and shit, floating upside down. Hoochie. Look at that big fucking beast back in there. funny what do you think in there bud don't worry about it huh <whistles> what about you what do you think huh hey there's a golf ball 